Holland. Perfect timing. I am here in Banff National Park and I am photographing the full moon. Actually, tomorrow is the full moon. But today is the best time to see the moon and tomorrow is the full moon and then Saturdays for the next three days, the moon is gonna be super big and it is just a great time. First full moon of the year and it is called the wolf moon. So that's why it was so great to hear wolf howling just now. It'd be great to get a photo of them, but that's pretty impossible. They're pretty elusive creatures. So I've come out here today and I'm gonna to try to photograph the full moon over this mountain range. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I work. I have my Hasselblad X1D Mark II with me. Today's a big day for Hasselblad. They just released the 907X with the 100 megapixel back. That looks fantastic. I saw the videos today, so I'm just looking, make sure that all of a sudden I'm not talking here and the moon's up behind me. But hopefully around in the next 15, 20 minutes, according to my apps, the moon should be coming up above the horizon there. And it's getting a little cloudy, so I don't know if we're gonna see it. I'm kind of bummed, but the light has been beautiful. I'm hoping to get some great light, that big wolf moon out. Today is all about just one photo. I've been roaming around a little bit today, looking at a couple of different things in the park and just taking some photos, just enjoying the day and enjoying the mountains. But if it all works out, could be magical. If not, it's still a great day because I'm out taking photos and I don't have a real job. So can't beat that. What I'm putting on is a filter system and I'm going to use a three stop graduated filter because the sky is gonna be a lot lighter than the horizon. So it will balance a lot more the exposure for the sky and for the horizon so that there's not this extreme, you know, seven, eight, nine stops of exposure Hopefully we, I can get it to around, you know, two or three stops of exposure and then I can fix the rest in Photoshop. But so that's what I'm installing on the lens right now. On my camera, I'm shooting at 100 ISO. That's the lowest ISO that the X1D2 will go to. And my aperture is going to be F8 and a half, I think. And then I will just keep going down on the shutter speed. Uh, depending on uh, the shutter speed I need. But the great thing with the Hasselblad is that it has live view. So as you move that exposure, you can see exactly what you're getting. So I don't really have to meter that much. I can see right in camera what I'm getting. And then of course, review it really quickly. I am have everything on. Uh, I know someone will ask, so I'll tell you this now. Uh, this is a Summit LM365C Leo photo tripod. It's a great, solid, steady tripod. My Arca Swiss ball head. And this is a really, really solid rig that my camera is on. I will probably get to some low shutter speeds. So you want something that's not going to be moving at all. I'm gonna try a couple photos while I'm waiting. This is just lends itself to panoramic. I was here a little earlier scouting out the location. I shot a panoramic, but man, it's just like a perfect pano in the Hasselblad. I'll shoot in panoramic mode. One of the things in the winter time is eating all the time. Your body burns a ton of energy just trying to keep warm in this cold, so. 
I get to eat a cookie. You can see this mountain range that is happening here behind me. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous place here in Banff National Park. Lake Minnewanka and yeah, you know, I kind of have this place all to myself. There's the odd car that drives by, but basically, you know, not a lot of people come out here in midweek and especially when it's cold and in the winter time. So it's wonderful to have this whole place to myself. I'm hoping the moon is going to rise about right in there somewhere. We'll see if it works out. It's right along, it's right in between the crack of the mountains and a cloud cover. I can see it just a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna get very much here today. Rats. I was a nine, I'm gonna switch back to 65. I don't know, that's gonna be about it. The light is gorgeous. That's it for the wolf moon. Wow, the light is amazing. Is that that blue hour light? I got just a little bit of that moon in between the mountains and the clouds. It's about as good as I could get. Those clouds came, it could have been so good tonight, but what do you do? Being out here is still better than working for a living, that's for sure. What a great day to be out in the mountains and experience this. Live in a great country. Anyway, thanks for always coming along and watching my videos. Can't thank you guys enough for the support I've been getting. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.